Well, hello everyone, it's Rose. And it's been a while since you've seen my face. So I thought I would let you know I'm still fine. I'm doing well. All this COVID-19 stuff is not getting me down. Um, and so what I'm trying to do to keep myself occupied since I'm always at home, just like those of you who have been told to work from home or not go to work are doing, um, what I'm trying to do is make a lot of videos. Um, it keeps me occupied and I hope that it'll also be company listening to me or watching me do something, uh, that it'll be something to keep you company during uh, what, what I know is a really difficult time for so, so many people. So today, oh, and my tea's gonna, uh, my water's gonna be hot in just a second. All right, I gotta stop for just a second and I'll come back. Okay, my tea's steeping now and I can't remember exactly where I was, but, um, so I'm trying to make a lot of videos so that people who are stuck at home uh, have something to listen to, something to watch, and know that there's somebody out there who's thinking about you and wants you to be feeling not lonely, okay? So, um, today what I'm going to do is seal these two diamond paintings. Uh, this is um, what I call dolphins. It's a round. It's one of the very first diamond paintings I ever bought. And uh, I got it on eBay. Yeah, eBay. And um, I just did it a few weeks ago. And uh, it turned out fine. And it doesn't actually need sealing. There's nothing that's popping on this thing at all, at all, at all. And then uh, just this past weekend, so I guess the weekend of um, the 14th, um, I did this one. So this is one also that I had for about a year. It's very floppy because it's, it's printed on, feels like cloth, um, which I actually quite like, to be honest. Um, so this one I call Eagle with Flag. And um, I don't know when the post-completion review for this is going to be posted, uh, but I get into all the details on it then. Um, what you need to know for this exercise is that I also had no problems with it. And I'm finding little bits of dog hair on here. Anyway, everything I have has dog hair on it. I can't help it. I have a dog. Um, so recently, my patron, Michelle, uh, asked me if I'd ever sealed anything with Mod Podge. And uh, I told her, no, I haven't. But I did buy this humongous container of Mod Podge. This is gloss, but I wish I had bought super gloss. And, and what I've got is get super gloss next time. That's if I ever use all of this. Um, but, so I'm going to seal these two with Mod Podge, uh, because I wanted to do it anyway, and Michelle asked me to, so that's what I'm going to do. And what I am also going to do is, um, seal this one here with Mod Podge with, uh, super fine, what is it, extra fine glitter in, hold on, I don't know if you can... Just try to make sure that you can read that. I don't know if you can or not. Anyway, this is extra fine glitter. Uh, what is the type? Recollections, and I got it at Michael's. And it, the color is snow. And I keep it in a baggie so that it doesn't go all over because it is super, super fine. It's like talcum powder fine. Okay, um, so I'm gonna seal half of this diamond painting with glitter and half of it without, just to see how the gloss Mod Podge looks with and without glitter mixed in. And I'm going to seal this one also with glitter in the Mod Podge. I'm gonna do the whole thing though, because I actually like this one. This one here, it's, I'm not American. So the American symbols, you know, they don't, they don't, you know, I, I don't get all patriotic or anything like that. Give me a beaver 
or a moose. Um, and I might get more patriotic, but you know, anyway, um, so let's get started. Okay. So I have here a cat food dish and I have here, uh, a Mod Podge brush and, um, I got three of these on eBay or Amazon. I don't know which, uh, I thought I was only buying one and it was like eight bucks and I thought that's expensive for one of these little things but it came in a package of three and I'm using the one that I used the last time when I sealed with uh, white glue and um, and I just rinsed it really really well to uh, to get all of the uh, the glue residue out of it and and it feels absolutely like fresh and it looks fresh. I actually, the only way I could tell that this was the one I used was that I put it in the bag upside down from the unused ones. Anyway, okay, so I've got my brush, I've got my Mod Podge. I am going to get a little tiny bit of water to water down my Mod Podge because I don't want to use it full thickness. Um, yeah, I don't want to use it full thickness. I want to have it watered down a little bit. And um, what else do I need? Oh, one thing I forgot to get. I'm going to get my um, lint-free shop cloth so that I can uh, wipe away the excess. Ah! Oh, there goes Pippi. So I can wipe away the excess Mod Podge uh, because you don't want to have like tons and tons of Mod Podge like on the diamonds, what you want is to get it down in there to seal it properly, okay? So uh, I'm gonna pause you once again while I get that and wet it and I'll be right back. Okay, so just a shop cloth that I got at Costco. Uh, it's I think it's 15 by 15 inches. Uh, they come in packages of, I don't know, 18 or 30 or something. Anyway, the package that I bought years and years and years ago is gonna last me the rest of my life and I'm sure if my daughter doesn't get rid of the ones that are left over, it'll last her for the rest of her life. Um, I use them for all kinds of stuff. Okay, I'm not gonna wet it just yet. So uh, what I am gonna do though, is re-orient uh, the camera so that you can see what I'm doing here. Since this is Mod Podge and it cleans up with water, I don't have the plastic tablecloth that I usually lie down uh, on, the, um, on the counter. Uh, I'll just make sure I wipe it up uh, if I if I make a mess. Um, and the glitter, hopefully I won't spill it all over the place. Okay, let's go. Let me change the orientation here. Just bear with me. This is not going to be a perfect exercise. Oh, let's see. Let's make that as straight as possible. There we go. I think that'll do. Okay, I'm gonna fill up with tea. So I've been drinking this, um, <coughs> excuse me. I've been drinking this uh, ginger. <coughs> <coughs> A drop of tea went down the wrong, the wrong way. Um, so I've been drinking this organic ginger tea and it's uh, it's absolutely delicious. It's uh, from a company called Traditional Medicinals. And every one of the tea bags has a little saying on the, uh, the little holder. And this one says, he who wants a rise, a rose. No, he who wants a rose must respect the thorn. That is a Persian proverb. And the other tea bag has one thorn of experience is worth a whole wilderness of warning. And that's from James Russell Lowell. Uh, it's, I find it odd that both of them refer to thorns. They don't usually refer to thorns. Okay, if you guys came here just to see a ceiling video, you're probably wondering when the hell is she gonna get to it? I'm gonna get to it now. But some of you like to listen to me talk. So, for those of you, oh, you know what? No, I never use this. 
don't think I ever used this. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is pour it. Oh, it's thick. You guys, I've never used Mod Podge for anything in my entire life. I was not a crafty person before starting diamond painting. So the first time I ever used a glue gun, an X-Acto knife, um, um, a paintbrush was all with, well, no, paintbrush I've used before. Uh, was, uh, but yeah, diamond painting is what has gotten me into uh, being more um, adventurous, if you will, with crafty stuff. So I'm putting like maybe a tablespoon of water in there. And now I'm just going to mix this all up. Uh, for those of you who have watched many of my videos in the past, you might recognize this spoon. That's the spoon that I use to measure um, polyurethane into my uh, into my containers when I'm sealing with polyurethane. Uh, I just, because the polyurethane uh, dries hard on there, uh, I just pick it off. Uh, I, I really try to uh, not use stuff that doesn't necessarily have to be, like not to throw things away. If I can reuse something, I try to do my best to do that because I want to do my part for the environment. Okay, so I think that'll do. It's, it's, it's not super runny, but it's not as goopy as it was. I'm just gonna rest that there. Okay, uh, so what am I gonna do? I think I will do, I'm gonna, mm, I think I'm going to do it on a diagonal with the glitter on the bottom half. Yeah, with the glitter on the bottom half. So, uh, let's, let's start. And it's not going to be a perfect line, but that's okay. It'll be a more or less perfect line. You know what? I'll get a I'll get a ruler. I have three of these rulers, so I may as well use them. Uh yeah, it's not gonna be a perfect line, but let's do the best we can here. Okay, so I mostly have my guide now. And it's nice to have a water supply right nearby. Okay. Now, I don't need this too, too thick in here. So I'm going to try and spread this out into the diamond painting as much as possible. What I do want is to make sure that there is some Mod Podge down between all of the drills. And some of you who are more experienced with Mod Podge might be saying, what the heck is she doing? Does she know what she's doing? Heck no, I don't. I just, you know, just messing around. And I'm going to let these dry afterwards. And then we're going to come back and take a look and see how it all turned out. All right. Okay. 
Now, I never, ever, ever intend to put any either of these diamond paintings up, which is why I don't, you know, I'm not probably being as careful as you've seen me be with uh, sealing videos where I was giving the diamond painting away or, you know, wanted to keep it for myself and it was something that, you know, was going to be a pride and joy kind of thing. Um, these are not. These are both diamond paintings that, you know, if if I were shopping for diamond paintings today, I would not buy. Uh, they're just not, just not my style. But I was a very excited new diamond painter in August and September and November and December and October and January and February of uh, 2018 and 19. And so I uh, bought some stuff that, you know, I wouldn't normally buy today. All right, I don't wanna like over overdo it. I'm just trying to make it as, as even as possible. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to add some, how much do I have here? I think I've got, I think I need a little bit more. Mix this up some more. I might have added too much water that time. Oh well. Such is life. It doesn't really matter uh, because you just want enough that it'll protect the um, protect the beads from falling off. The diamonds, drills, whatever you want to call them, from falling off. And also for the round diamond paintings, like I've got here, to get down in between the diamonds to seal the adhesive so that over time if you do put these up you're not going to have um you're not going to have dust or hair or fluff or whatever for falling down into the diamond painting and uh potentially messing it up okay so i don't know how much glitter to put more is better, right? Okay. And then I put this away right away because I don't want glitter all over my house. And now we're going to stir it up some more. I don't know if this is going to work, my friends. Uh, it works really, really well with polyurethane. Uh, and I mix glitter into like the super, super fine glitter into polyurethane before I lay it down on a uh, diamond painting. And uh, it, it really does help to, um, you know, keep some semblance of sparkle. Uh, because any kind of cover, like any kind of sealant that you put on a diamond painting is going to affect the sparkle. Uh, it just will. Uh, so, so, um, what I'm trying to do is, is give it back a little bit of sparkle. Okay. So let's get in here. Yeah, that's really runny, which is fine. I don't care. And now, I'm going to turn this the other way and brush it this way. And again, it might not be a perfect, perfect line, but it's not horrible. There's something stuck to the canvas, probably another hair. There we go. And I do like the fact that it's, you know, it goes on milky because you can see very, very easily. Oh, there's a diamond that's missing. Oh, yeah, there's a diamond that's missing. Oh, well, I don't really care. Like I say, I'm not going to uh, put this one up. This is purely for experimental purposes. So 
Um, doesn't really matter if there's a diamond missing. I would be right on that sucker if this was a diamond painting that I actually cared very much about. Uh, I would be finding the replacement drill and putting it down. And I may actually do that with this anyway, uh, as soon as I finish sealing it. Because the Mod Podge will actually glue down the diamond. Because it does say that it is um, a water-based sealer, glue, and finish. So uh, I'm perfectly uh, comfortable using it as the glue for that missing diamond. Which, you know what? I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Okay. Just going to set that aside for now. Let me find the drills for that diamond painting. Now, because it's got Mod Podge on it. But you know what? Nobody's going to notice. Okay, there we go. Good thing I didn't put my store, my drills away yet. Okay. Now I've lost it. There we go. Okay, so uh, I said that I was going to wipe this down. So that is what I'm going to do. Let's set that aside for now. Close these drills back up. And put them aside. get a uh, glitter on the side that doesn't have that doesn't have uh, glitter on it right now I'm going to be careful and wipe this side of the diamond painting first and so what I want to do is just blot off some of the Mod Podge from the top of the diamonds Again, I'm not worried here about, you know, being perfect about it because this is not, you know, a perfect, this is not being done for, you know, the, the, the purpose of a diamond painting that will go up on the wall. This is just to see what happens when you seal. So if I were a little bit more careful, uh, I'm sure that the final effect that we see tomorrow would also be a little bit more perfect. Um, but for now, I think this will be fine. Okay. Um, now I don't want to be brushing too hard here because I don't want to be um, loosening diamonds. And my cloth is wet, but not drippy. Okay, so that's pretty good. And now I can do the side that has the glitter on it without worrying about, you know, mixing glitter into my non-glitter side. So once again, 
we'll just pat at it. There we go. And then when I'm all done this, I will be rinsing this cloth out very, very well to remove as much of the Mod Podge and glitter as I can just by rinsing. And then it'll go in the wash. And until it goes in the wash, I will keep it in um, like a tub of water so that that glue doesn't, like so that the Mod Podge doesn't actually have a chance to harden. Um, and now I'm just gonna, there we go, just gonna wipe it, there, okay, I think that'll do, um, this is definitely heavier than before, so I mean, it's not like I pulled all of the Mod Podge off, uh, it's still pliable for now, I don't know what it's gonna be like when it's dry. So we're going to set it aside here because I'm just going to leave it here to dry overnight uh, because my animals don't get up on the kitchen counter. Now that Marvin's gone, the animals don't get up on the kitchen counter, my, my two remaining pets. Okay, so now. For this one, I think I'm going to try and apply a lighter coat and maybe not wipe it off because I want to see how it looks wiped off versus not wiped off. So this has the exact same amount of glitter in it because, um, because I'm using the same, the same uh, container here, uh, the same mix, um, but I'm not going to wipe, wipe as much of it off. I might wipe some of it off. I uh, haven't decided yet. I'll make that decision as I go along. Again, what I'm trying to do is get down in between the diamonds. And I don't want to be forming too, too many bubbles. This one seems to have a lot of bubbles forming. I didn't notice that as much on that one. So this is an experiment, my friends. There we go. And I don't see any missing drills on this one, so um, so that's good. Yeah, I'm often surprised at the quality of the diamond paintings that you get on eBay or Amazon for, you know, not a lot of money. Um, mostly what you're paying for with any diamond painting is the shipping. Um, you know, what, even for the ones that uh, we buy from the United States, uh, with very, very few exceptions, they're made in uh, China. Or the drills come from China, maybe they're printed in the United States, but the drills all come from China. As far as I know, there are no drill manufacturers in North America. I could be wrong about that, um, but I think what they have is supply arrangements with um, factories in China and they have you know quality standards that need to be met um, there are companies in the United States one that I've heard of never ordered from but one that I've heard of is Diamond Drills USA on Etsy and their drills are supposed to be really really good quality and someday I will order from them uh, I have a few diamond paintings that I never got the missing drills for and um, so I might at some point put in an order 
to get those. All right, almost done. And if I ever do put in such order, I will, of course, report to you on the quality of the drills that I get. All right. I do like this Mod Podge brush a whole lot. Like for three bucks or whatever each. It's a good, it's a good buy. It's easy to hold and control. It's fine. So, you know, you can, you can, uh, you have a lot of control. As well as control over, you know, where you put your medium, your sealing medium. So, okay. Now, those of you who have watched my channel for a long time know that I'm somebody who usually can't just leave well enough alone. It's like, oh, if a little is good, a lot is better. So I am holding myself back from putting more on here or brushing too much of this stuff uh, in. But I do want to get down in between all of the drills. There we go. Okay, so, you know, I said I was going to decide as I did this whether I wanted to brush any of the Mod Podge off. And I've decided that, yes, I do. So, uh, I'm not going to be fancy about this. I'm not even going to rinse the cloth first. So I got it folded up a few times. And what I'm going to do is just brush. I'm not brushing as much away as I did on the Eagle with Flag. I'm sure you've noticed that. I'm just trying to get what's on the very top of the drills. So I'm not trying to get down in there at all. And when I'm done this element, uh, what I'll do is hold them both up to the camera. Well, I'll bring you down so that you can see close up what each of them looks like. Here, let me just wipe the edges here. Okay. Well, not perfect, but that's okay. It's good enough. I think this is going to look fine. We'll see. There's a little hair. That's drying really, really nicely. It's not even tacky anymore. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, get rid of this. I made too much. And... Um, Clean up my tools and all that stuff, my brush and this cloth in particular. Wipe down my counter and everything to make sure that I don't have any Mod Podge and glitter still stuck to it. Finish my tea. And uh, the next time you see me, oh, no, first I'm going to show you this. Uh, but I'm going to wash my hands because I don't want to get <laughs> Mod Podge and glitter all over my... Okay, my friends, so now I'm holding you, uh, I'm holding the camera above the diamond painting, and I'm going to get down nice and close. Uh, by the way, about five minutes have passed since, maybe not quite five, but um, a very few minutes have passed since I uh, was here with you, 
and um, I just rinsed the cloth, washed the spoon, washed the um, stainless steel food dish. Um, did I say I washed the brush? And um, and put stuff away so that uh, my work area, which is my kitchen counter, is nice and clean. And so, yeah, uh, you can't really see anything in here so far. Um, oh, except for a little bit of fluff. Let's see if I'm getting that off. Maybe I'll be able to get it off. Yeah, seems okay. It's not perfect. But you know what? I gotta I see when I see these things. Kind of obsess over them. I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna ignore that one there too. Okay, so this feels completely dry. And I don't know about you, but I'm not seeing any glitter effect. Um, maybe, maybe there's a glitter effect over here. Cause where did I put the glitter? Oh my god, you guys, I don't remember where I put the glitter. I don't remember if the glitter was here or here. I think the glitter was here. I'll know when I edit this video. But um, anyway, for now, I might have wiped away pretty much all of it. So we'll see. Okay, so that's, that's the eagle. And, you know, it's like the... I'll turn it over. It uh, looks like a little bit of wetness went through in a couple of places but not very much like I didn't it wasn't sopping wet um, like I, you saw that I watered down the Mod Podge I didn't water it down tremendously okay so now let's come over to the dolphins and here you can definitely see uh, Mod Podge down in between the drills you can also see a lot of hair and stuff uh, because I did not wipe it away as well um, but what I also see is you can still see the facets on the diamonds which is what I was hoping for in terms of the effect because it's those facets that give you the, the shimmer uh, well not the shimmer but the the shine the glitter you know the glitter or whatever um, why can't the sparkle that's what I'm trying to say uh, I couldn't think of the word um, and I mean I maybe I see a little bit of glitter in there but the glitter is so so fine that um, it really is hard to see it it pretty much blends right into the Mod Podge uh, and because it's Chris like it because it's snow um, snow white it, I think that's glue that, not glue, but I think that's a uh, pink wax that I hadn't, uh, I didn't properly brush away. Okay, now I don't want to be messing with it because I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the effect, the surface of the Mod Podge. Um, so what's on there is going to stay in there. Uh, so I'm not actually seeing any more of that milkiness. It seems that the Mod Podge, even watered down, dries really, really fast. Like maybe there's a little bit down in here that we can see. And down in here that we can see. But generally speaking, not so much. Okay, so, boy, those drills are pretty. I mean, it's a very pixelated picture, but the drills are pretty. Okay, so what I'm hoping is that tomorrow, and I don't want to trip over my stool here, um, I'm hoping that tomorrow these will, uh, well, they will definitely be dry by tomorrow. And um, what I'm hoping is that it'll be a nice sunny day so that I can take them over to the front window and you can... Uh, see whether they still have any sparkle or not. Um, I'm actually hoping that they will. 
and uh, we'll find out together tomorrow. So that's it for part one. Part two will be the post sealing review. Bye for now. Well, hi again, everybody. So um, it's the next day and the diamond paintings are both very dry. Now you'll remember that this one here, the canvas is super, super, like it's so floppy. It's like, it's almost like a shirt material, uh, like a cotton polyester shirt material. Um, and the diamond painting before was also very, very floppy. Well, it still is very, very floppy. Uh, it's very bendable, nothing's coming off. Like I could probably, I can fold it and nothing is falling off. Um, so uh, I think what that means is I got a lot of the Mod Podge off. I was concerned about there not being any more sparkle after I put the Mod Podge on. And so if you'll remember, this half of the diamond painting was just plain Mod Podge. This half of the diamond painting was um, Mod Podge and the super fine glitter. They actually look pretty much the same to me as I'm looking at this. Uh, I can't tell that one side is sparklier than the other. And so I think that's because I wiped most of the Mod Podge off of the drills like the surface of the drills and so all we're seeing is just the the natural sparkle of the drills maybe there's a tiny little bit of glitter in between the drills over here but i don't see it um and i can tell you that last night uh in a in my you know when my place was fairly dark and i just had my uh halogen lights on in the kitchen um they were both sparkling like crazy. So I'm very happy with the effect on the eagle. As you can see, super, super pliable. Those drills are stuck on there really, really well. Really, really well. Nothing's fallen off. Um, it's all good. So Mod Podge, watered down. I don't know what it would be like, not watered down, but I'll do that experiment another time. Uh, and then this one here, now, what we saw before was, oh, and the other thing I want to say about this one is that I spent a lot of time, as you'll recall, getting as much Mod Podge off as I could, okay? So I think that's why it's still so pliable, okay? This one here, we started off with a thicker canvas, okay? Like where this one, you know, bends like, I wish you could feel it. Anyway, this is a slightly thicker canvas. Um, and so not quite as, you know, cut polyester blend like. Uh, the Mod Podge, I didn't take as much off, if you'll recall. Um, even though I thinned it out more than this one because I added more water to it, the Mod Podge here, I didn't get, like I didn't press down to get it out from uh, between the diamonds as much. So the, the diamond painting itself is stiffer and there is more glitter on this and I think again that's because there is glitter uh, down in between some of the drills I think but it's hard to say um, it looks natural it doesn't look like fake glitter uh, and I again this looked beautiful last night uh, when it had the bright halogen lights shining on it. Um, so I'm, um, I'm very pleased with the outcome. Still pliable, not as pliable as this one, uh, even though this was thinner, um, a thinner solution, not solution, it was a thinner mix. Um, they have this pretty much the same amount of glitter. And so I'd have to say it's a success either way. Since this one here, there's no glitter up here, and yet it's still very, very sparkly. So um, all that to say that I would happily use Mod Podge 
as a sealant in the future. Um, now all I can say is that I would use it uh, based on these experiments with or without glitter I think would be fine and um, I did blot it off of both diamond paintings more so on this one than on this one. Um, that said I will try on another diamond painting at some point uh, just Mod Podge not watered down with glitter and without glitter to see whether I get the same uh, truly excellent effect. So there you go everybody. I hope you found this useful, uh, informative, and uh, maybe a little bit of fun. Let me know what your thoughts are on these experiments. And uh, you know, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, this would be an amazing time to do that. So thanks everybody. And I will be back to you again really, really soon with another diamond painting video. Take care. Bye-bye for now.